Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we learn about a state diagram and also learn how to draw a state diagram. And this is part of a clocked sequential circuit from the book by Mr. Mano, uh, chapter number 6.5, article 6.5. I mean, in addition to graphical symbols, tables, or equations, flip-flops can also be represented graphically by a state diagram. So we know that you can represent a flip-flop by symbols. You can also represent a flip-flop by table, state table, or a truth table. And you can also represent it by the equation. Now, in addition to these fours, we can represent a transition of the truth table actually by what is known as a state diagram. So, this is uh, one part actually, like this is showing state 0, 0. So, this state is shown by this circle here. And the next state, let's say this one is shown here by 0, 1. And so, we'll have four states for the uh, four states here, so four circles, and this we are talking about JK flip flop. So, in this diagram, a state is represented by a circle, and the transition between states is indicated by directed lines connecting the circles. So, this is a directed line which is connecting the two circles. This is also a directed line, it is connecting the same circle, so we will we'll see what it is actually. And the binary number inside identifies the state, so as we discussed here, the 0, 0 means this state here. In addition to all these, you can see these, these numbers here, so this we call actually x and y. x, y x y so left hand side is the input x is the input representing the input and y is representing the output okay now uh, to analyze uh, we'll analyze a clock sequential circuit and in this case you can see these are the um, gates and it is connected with a flip flop so this will become a sequential circuit actually and now if you see this carefully this has two inputs A and X and this has also two input B and X so the output from here will be because it is AND gate so we will get A and B A and X or simply AX also the output of this one will be BX as shown here bx and because of the or gate we'll write it with a plus sign so this is the input at this point at this point and the moment a clock signal comes then this input will go to the output and this we call is the future state so this is the next state or future state and that is why we have represented with a plus sign with one so let's say keep in mind that maybe it's one second after or one millisecond or one microsecond after the present time so what is a state equation a state equation also called transition equation specifies the next state so this is specifying the next state here n is a function of the present state and the input so let's see from here now this was the next state and it is function of a and x from here you can see a and x a is the present state of the flip-flop a and x is the input signal this red one is the input signal actually similarly b is the present state of another flip-flop we'll see next uh, slide and also xt as the input so we had seen uh, this one already we have discussed 
now let's see other two uh, circuits this one has a dash input and x and gate so output here will be a dash x this output a dash x the moment a clock signal comes then this input will go to the output so this will become the next state so bt1 will be a dash x the moment this clock comes and the third uh, diagram here we have a and b with an or gate so a or b sorry not a and or gate so a or b and here we have x inverted so x dash so the output now there is no flip flop here so the output will go directly uh, so y will be a or b multiplied by x dash so these are the uh, equations that we have and now if we add all these inputs uh, show the actual connection like from here a is going to this one here we just wrote a but this is the actual connection that the output is going here and similarly it is going in this place similarly the output of b flip flop is going uh, to the top one here this b and also here so all this is the complete circuit for all these three and so for this circuit we can say that we have the state equation these three all these three we have written here okay and now we'll proceed further we had the circuit we had the state equation so this was the state equation now these equations can be used to form state tables so now we'll draw what is known as a state table and the parameters of the state tables or the headings of the state tables are number one is the present state of the flip-flop and since the, there are two flip-flops, so they have two states, A and B. So we written A and B. Next is input X. So this is input X. And then is the next state of the flip-flop. So next state will also be A and B because when the change comes, the value will change, but the name will remain same, A and B. So A and B. And finally, we have output Y from here. So just to memorize, I have just uh, written this as P from here, I, N, and O, so P, no. Okay, now let's see the inputs. Okay, the one condition we are assuming that A is 0 and B, B is also 0, so the output of the uh, two flip-flops is 0. And the input signal is also 0, so this X is 0. So what will be the next state A? So we'll use this formula. And if you put A is equal to 0 here, and B is equal to 0 here, and also X is equal to 0, so this will be 0. So the next state A will be 0. So we write 0 here. Now we go to the B. So this is the formula for the B flip-flop. And it is A dash X. A is 0, A dash will be 1, but 1 and x, or 1 multiplied by x will be 0, so b will also be 0. And now we look at the output. Now the output is this formula. So A is 0, or b is 0, and x dash will be 1, but because these two are 0, therefore the whole thing will be 0. So the output is also zero. Okay, now another option in the same case will be that the in A and B output is uh, zero, but X input from here is now one. So what will happen? Again, we take help of the uh, formula. So let's see, A zero, B zero, X is one, but since this is 0, it will make 0, this is 0, so this will make 0. So that means the next state of A will remain 0. Okay. Coming on to B. So B is A dash X. A dash 0, A dash will be 1. 
x is 1 so 1 and 1 or 1 multiplied by 1 we can simply call it so it will be 1 so b will be 1 so we'll write 1 here and now see the answer uh, uh, the final answer y since this is 0 this is also 0 so this will be 0 and x dash is 1 so complement of that will also be 0 so y will remain 0 okay so this was for the 0 0 state now we'll consider all four states so the next one we consider 0 1 so both 0 1 input again we one time keep at x and the other time we keep 1 and same way that we calculated here we'll calculate the value of a b and y then also the third option or now the third state 1 0 and we'll follow exactly same technique to calculate y and finally 1 1 and for this also we'll follow the same technique so this is the state table uh, this is how you write the values of a state table okay now that was one form of writing a state table table there is another form uh, which is generally more common and in that we write the present state then we write next state for the two inputs x0 and x1 and similarly we write output for x0 and uh, x1 now the easiest way I have found is to take our old uh, state table this one and then first of all we write for this x0 so for that we will just keep all those values with x0 and the others we uh, mask so like here I have shown okay and now we have all values with x0 and we will simply plugging in or they write the values uh, this will be 0 0 here a b just like c here ok so this is a b so we have just copied this here output output state so these are for x 0 so I just copied those and y for x0 we have just copied these values here this was for x0 now to write the value for x1 we'll unhide these and hide these one with x0 so let's do that okay so we have hidden those values with x0 now what is left is for x1 uh, and again we can see these, these four remains the same output now we'll see for x1 uh, our next condition actually so this is the next state so we'll just copy it so let's see okay so we have copied it 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 and also we have copied the y output so it is 0 0 0 so this is the uh, another form of writing the state table and this is more popular so we'll just adopt this but you can follow this technique for writing these values you could have written it directly but I think that is slightly difficult okay now what is the state diagram the state diagram provides the same information as the state table and we had four states so we'll put four circles with these name 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and in the next slide we'll see how to complete uh, this state diagram okay this is the state table we have copied here okay so first of all here also we'll first of all look for x0 the next state for x0 and output for x0 and now let's see the diagram this one now if we are in 0 0 state what is the next state from here you can see when x is 0 the next state is also 0 0 so from present state 
to next state. This is the present state. So going to the next state, we'll just come back here as shown here. Okay, so we have come back from zero, we have zero, zero, we have come back to zero, zero. Now there is something written here. This is the X and Y, that is the input and output. Now what is the input? This was the input X, zero in this case, so we write zero. And output is also zero, Y is zero, so we'll also write a zero here as shown here, so we have written it as 0. So this was for the first set. Now we go to 0, 1. This is 0, 1. What is the next state? 0, 0. So from here we have to go to 0, 0. So we draw a line. Okay. So this is, we are going from 0, 1 to 0, 0. Now what do we write here? X and Y. X remains same, 0. And y here is 1. So we'll write 0 slash 1. So 0 slash 1. So this was the uh, second row. The third row of the uh, uh, here the state is 1 0. So we are here and from here from 1 0 we'll go to 0 0. So from here we go to 0 0. Okay, so from 1, 0, we went to 0, 0, and what do we write here? Again, x is non-zero for all four cases. y is 1 in this case, so we we'll write 0 slash 1. So 0 slash 1. And finally, we are at the 1, 1 state, so we are here. And from here also, we'll go to 0, 0 state. So from here, we go to this one. And what do we write? x0 and y1, so 0 and 1. So this is the first set of plot for x0. Now we'll consider when x is 1. So, okay, we have masked x0. Now this is x is 1. And exactly same technique. From 0, 0, we have to go to 0, 1. So we are here at 0, 0, we have to go to 0, 1. Okay, so we went to 0, 1. And here now x is 1 in all four cases, 1. Uh, so we'll write left, on the left hand side, we'll write 1 in all four cases. And y is also 0, 0 in all four cases. Therefore, this will be the standard. We'll write this. Uh, for all the four one zero so the first step was done next step we are at zero one and from here we'll go to one one so zero one to one one okay so, and the x y remains one zero third is from one zero to one zero now one zero to one zero means here also we'll loop back Okay, so we loop back and the value of x, y remains 1, 0. And finally from 1, 1 to 1, 0. So from 1, 1 to 1, 0. Okay, so uh, from 1, 1 we went to 1, 0 and the value of x, y remains 1, 0. So this is how you uh, plot the state diagram from the state table. And uh, if you want to do uh, from the original table, you will still do the same thing, same technique you have to follow. But this is a slightly lengthy looking table and that is why we have the shortcut table. But like from 0, 0, you go to 0, 0. So from 0, 0, you go to 0, 0. When x is 0, we go to next x, 0. From 0, 1, you go to 0, 0. So from 0, 1, you go to 0, 0. So same thing. Okay, so what were the steps? We just recall. The steps presented in this example are summarized below. First of all, we drew the circuit diagram and then we wrote the equations. Then we drew the state table and from state table we draw state diagram. So I hope this gives you an understanding. 
as to how you can solve this type of a problem. So this was the first one, circuit diagram. Then we wrote the equation. Then we wrote the state table and state diagram. So give me your feedback. Thanks.